Hello and welcome to the Go Power Calculator tutorial. The way you're going to get to the Go Power Calculator is go to www.gpelectric.com. It's going to bring you to this nice home page. You're going to see at the bottom left a size your system blue button. So click on that. It's going to take us to the Go Power Calculator landing page. Always keep your eye out for the new technology references we have or tools here to help you size our kits and, and figure out different things with solar and inverter systems. But for now, we're going to click the big blue button and take us through the GoPower calculator. So we do two different types of systems at GoPower, uh, work vehicle and fleet, and recreational vehicle marine. Uh, the big difference here, there's a solar element to RV and marine, so we're going to click on that guy here to give you a look. So, as we see on the left-hand side, we have five tabs here, and then a right-hand side with three tabs, saying solar package, solar kit, and inverter. These are actually going to change as we go through the calculator and click different loads we're using. You're going to see these click and change as uh, our system size demand goes up and down. But to start off, we're going to go with our energy out. This is just simply, are you a weekend camper or are you a week-long camper? So as I change these, you're going to see that picture on the right-hand side change along with it. So we're going to just do long weekends for now. Then we're going to go to our DC Loads tab. The DC Loads tab, these are the essential loads that you're going to have in your RV. These are the must-haves. This is your lights, your water pump, your furnace fan. And you're going to see we have a number of different things listed here. We also have a reset all button. If you've gone through and you've put a bunch of stuff in that you may not have wanted, hit reset all, it'll set you all back to zero. Add appliance, simply if you don't see something on here that you currently use in your RV, hit add appliance. We'll do it for you now. Here it is, you basically tap in uh, exactly what it is you have, how many watts it is and how many amps it uses. Hit save, now that appliance is on the list for you to work with. For now, I'm just gonna use some of the loads that are already on the sheet. So I have the furnace fan in my RV. I have lights on there, so I'm gonna put three lights in, and I'm gonna put the refrigerator in there as well. That's it. That finishes my section for DC. This really helps you would have seen the solar changing as I put different things in. Then we have a third step, which is the AC loads. You do not have to enter anything into the AC loads. If, if you're someone like me who likes to go out, uh, just camp out in the wilderness, you're just using your lights, your water pump, things like that, you're absolutely fine to skip this stage and move on to the energy coming in. Uh, but for now, I'm just for all intents and purposes, I'm going to show you how this is going to affect our system. So I'm going to first of all throw a coffee maker in, which should really adjust my inverter. So we take a look over here, it's put us to a lot larger inverter. It's left us with the modified sine wave. So I'm just going to speak to that for a second. When we see type here, all these different uh, little square wave images, these are all modified sine wave type of appliances. But then when you have more sensitive loads, we're going to want to use pure sine wave. And you can see here, it's the nice swooping sideways S. And all these appliances here are something you would use a pure sign with. If I select one of these, like the cellular phone charger, you're gonna see it immediately changes us over to a pure sine wave inverter. You're also gonna notice if I scroll down on the right hand side here that we have the remote for turning the inverter on and off. And we scroll down a little further, you can also see we got the GPDC kit three. What that is, it's the cable kit to hook the inverter to your batteries. It's so you have everything that you need to hook the entire system up. Let's move on to energy in. Energy in is simply how many hours of sunlight are you getting uh, when you're out camping. If you're typical summertime use, just leave it in the default of five to six hours of usable light. But if you're someone who's maybe camping through the winter months, you could even go as low as two to three hours of usable light per day. Then we go to the summary. The summary basically has all of our loads tallied up for us. Uh, one really important part I like to point out here is it shows the battery system, how large of a battery bank it recommends. A lot of people have that question. The calculator does the work for you. On the right hand side while we're in our summary, if we were doing this just a solar kit only, it's going to show us these are the kits to use. It's looking like an 80 and an 80 watt expansion. If we scroll down here we can have a look. We also have the specifications, the shortcut right to the specs page for the, uh, for the kits. 
Then inverter, we can clip over. Here we got the inverter with the same results for our specs and specs on the remote. But if you want to put all of it together, and it's one thing GoPower does very well, you can just go right to one of our packages. And this is the solar and inverter system with all the fixings to wire this into your RV yourself uh, without any guesswork. And it also has the spec sheet, of course, here for that as well. And that's the GoPower calculator.